Okay, shall we start? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, uh, can you brief me about your technical skills and work experience? Yeah, I have like nine uh, nine year experience like managing uh, Cisco router switches. Uh, even like I have also good experience on the firewall technology like ASA, Checkpoint, Palo Alto, Juniper, SRX. I have also like work, work on multi-vendor devices like uh, 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 Rista, Brocade, uh, even Nexus which is also. So my day-to-day -day, like uh, work in my current organization like uh, configuring policies on the firewall. I mean sometime like we also like uh, uh, doing VPN configurations. Like sometime we do s troubleshooting the connectivities through the firewall. Okay, so you work only on the firewalls or do you have no, any no. knowledge of routing and switching protocols yes. as well? Yes, yes, yes. I, like I do have a good knowledge of both technology, routing, switching as well as the uh, uh, firewall. Okay, so which uh, routing protocols uh, you have knowledge of? Yeah, BGP, OSPF, like okay. most, mostly, like, so, mostly I see like people are running BGP or OSPF in the real network. Yeah, right. So, can you explain me about OSPF, which type of protocol it is? Yeah, OSPF basically links state routing protocol. I, I see like people are preferring o OSPF over any other IGP protocol, means over EIGRP. Because in OSPF traffic engineering is very easy. Like if if we have a two link, if, if you want to make one link as a primary, we simply like go under the OSPF IP OSPF cost command. Like which link you want to prefer, you just you just set the lowest cost value, and uh, that link will become primary. And other link like uh, uh, you become secondary by increasing the IP OSPF cost value more than uh, 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 link one and so okay. link uh, uh, link means OSPF is link state routing protocol basically uh, uh, OSPF basically IGB protocol basically the purpose of OSPF only advertising the private subnet if we talk about the BGP BGP used for like internet link okay however I have seen like BGP also running uh, over the MPLS link also because in BGP we can modify the path uh, per subnet basis okay but in OSPF we, we cannot because OSPF is the link state routing protocol. Okay, so what are the even and E2 routes in OSPF? E even route like by default like when we're doing the redistribution uh, uh, under any routing protocol under the OSPF okay by default uh, uh, the metric type is E2 but if you want to change it you can change it via using like uh, uh, ma ma under the like while you're doing redistribution okay you can change metric type e e1 okay but the the difference between e1 and e2 like e e2 by default like the seed matrix is 20 and they will like don't add the link cost okay while like uh, the your external route basically going to the different area or different router okay but if, if you if you you choose the e1 e1 basically uh, by default it will like siege metric plus it will also add the link uh, metric also so in which scenarios you will prefer e1 over e2 routes so the, the, it depends like if we have too far to re, uh, to reach asbr router okay so definitely we will use e1 okay but if we have a single path we don't care we we will use either e1 or e2 okay so is it possible to have uh, multiple paths in ospf yeah yeah sure like ospf support e ecmp equal cost multiple path so like we, we uh, if we have a let's say x subnet coming from two path okay and by default we are getting the same cost value so OSPF by default they do ECMP equal cost multiple path load sharing. Okay. So if I have a let's say a stub area mm -hmm. and a not so stubby area, mm -hmm. what are the various LSAs which can be found inside the stub area and inside the not so stubby area? So in 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 uh, LSA uh, in stub area like by default uh, like uh, it will filter LSA four as well as LSA five. Uh, in this case, like EBR basically inject the default route uh, in, in the a, a, a stub area. And if we talk about not so stub area, like let's say we have one area 
and we we want to uh, in in that area we have already have ESDR, but still we want to filter the uh, external route. Okay, so in this case, like we we need to use a node source of area. Uh, so that like uh, on that area still we have a ASBR but still we are filtering the external route okay so uh, on that area and as I say we have a type 7 LSA but when uh, it, it goes to the different uh, area which is not a uh, other area it will ABR basically convert into type 7 to type 5 when sending the LSA to another area okay. Uh, with respect to BGP, uh, which is the port number BGP uses? Yeah, BGP is uh, basically TCP port 179 application. Okay. Uh, how will you inject a default route in BGP? Yeah, in BGP, like if you want to in inject the default route, like we like BGP, like we use the command never, never IP address and default information using it. Okay. Uh, suppose you want to influence the incoming and outgoing traffic uh, uh, by BGP. Mm -hmm. So, which uh, path attributes you will use and why? So, if, if you want to use the let's say outbound traffic, okay. In this case, like route map, we applied inbound direction. The attribute we use for like modify the outbound traffic one is weight, weight is Cisco proprietary, and the second one we can use local preference. Uh, so, local preference is open standard. So in case if you want to like modify your return traffic means your incoming traffic in this case route map will be applied outbound direction and we use mostly AS prepend okay for like if you want to uh, modify the incoming traffic. Okay so can you can you give me the configuration example how will you use the AS path prepend? Yeah like uh, I don't need the exact commands. Yeah. So first, like if if you let's say if, if you uh, want to do the uh, uh, prepending just for single subnet, okay, we first like call IP prefix, IP prefix like we particular match that subnet, okay. Then we create the route map. Under the route map, we match that prefix subnet, okay. Then we define the action set prepend and make sure you are prepend your own AS, okay. So you can like give a number two three uh, in the prepending. Then um, um, uh, you go under the router BGP, you define neighbor, neighbor IP address, you apply the route map and route map you are applied for outbound direction. Okay, and uh, which AS path you mean number you will use? Your yeah. AS path or yeah, AS? As I told you, definitely we will use always on AS number, our AS number. Okay, what is uh, BGP's loop avoidance method? So loop widens like by default like in EBGP AS path list okay AS path list basically uh, 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 preventing the loop okay like if we uh, because see like when we advertise any subnet okay in the last AS number that is basically denote uh, this is the uh, uh, AS basically originating the subnet okay so in EBGP we have a AS path list in IBGP we have a split origin rule okay like when we uh, getting the update from one IBGP don't send to the another IBGP. Okay. Uh, with respect to firewall, so uh, what do you have done on the yeah, firewalls? Uh, I told you like we like I have very good experience on ASA, checkpoint, port also. So like we making the policies like uh, we also configuring the IPsec side shot VPNs and even uh, Route based VPN also like we are configuring because now these days route based VPN like like I see like a uh, even like a, when you have a data center in the cloud uh, and you your own premises network like mostly we using these days route based VPN IPsec route based VPNs because there is the advantage of route based VPN over the route based VPN you can run the dynamic routing protocols in case if one VPN goes down. Uh, second will uh, like let's say if you're running OSPF or BGP over the route based VPN, uh, the, the routing protocol automatically figure out the second uh, uh, path. Okay. Uh, yeah. Any, anything on wireless? Yeah, wireless. Uh, yes, I have. Like uh, we, uh, in my previous to previous organization, we have like wireless controller. We have a lightweight APs. So I. I face the issue like sometimes AP are not dis discovering on 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 the wireless controller. We we fix that issue also because sometimes uh, 
Uh, so in, in, in our scenario, we have very simple scenario because all the EP and the wireless controller, they are sharing the same segment. So once the EP get the IPs, they automatically discover on the controller. Okay. Sometimes I've seen like APs are not getting the IP uh, because that is the issue with the DSCP and uh, 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 that that's why they are not discovering on the controller. But yes, yes, I have like, I have uh, uh, experience on the wireless side also. Okay, uh, what is the function of the controller? So controller basically like uh, like all your lightweight APs, okay, you don't need to do anything, basically APs are just plug and play, okay, all the like uh, SSID configurations, all the like authentication, all you, you will do on the controller, okay, even the up upgradation also, you always, you do the controller, okay, then controller basically push, push the all the configuration to the APs, okay. And uh, how the AP will communicate to the controller? So Does it create some tunnels? Yes, yes. We use cab app protocol. Okay, so uh, the idea is like like when the user basically land to the AP, then AP has the uh, uh, basically uh, the tunnel uh, towards to the controller. Then a, uh, the uh, basically uh, AP send the traffic directly to the uh, through this cab app tunnel to the controller. Okay, then controller basically see and check the routing all the thing it also depends like what what ap mode you are using if you're using flex connect they will like uh, uh they will do locally switching like ap but if you're using the default sorry if you're using the default uh, uh mode i i don't remember the mode exactly but uh in that case like we all the traffic basically like uh, when the user land to the ap ap sent to the uh the wireless controller Okay. Okay. Uh, Gurpreet, uh, I'm done. Uh, do you have any questions? Yeah, I have a one questions. Like, uh, uh, what is the ship timing here? <laughs> so uh, you can ask the HR about that. Uh, so okay. I just uh, yesterday received uh, your profile to the interview. Uh, I, I believe you are, you you are going to a common pool from where you will get picked up by some project. Okay, okay, okay. Then. You can uh, ask the HR about the project, uh, your shift timings, okay, all that. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, okay, thanks, Rupit. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yes, Bye -bye. Same to you.